So I've gone for a needle that has a big eye. And I'm going to put that through like so. And then, because it's kind of really short this and it's a bit curly. Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee, and on my channel you'll find lots of sewing techniques, refashioning of old or even new clothing, and also a segment where I show you items that I have designed, pattern drafted, and also sewn. And if you're into that sort of thing, consider subscribing, and let's get started. So I'm refashioning, and this is what I'm going to refashion. It's, it's, this is super easy. It really is super easy. I am going to repair sections of it because of the sequins that are on here are missing on one shoulder. There. Um, no, there's, n there's possibly one on here. But there are some beading, some sequins that are missing from the side. Not this one, this one seems to be fine. But this side, there's a couple also that are missing on here. So I am going to take some of these from the side seams, the underarm, and place them on the shoulder. So I'll show you that now, I'll bring the camera down so that you can see. I have one missing here and one missing from there. So I need to put two there on that shoulder. And there isn't any that's missing from here. I think there's possibly one that's missing from there. So two, one, two, three at the shoulder. And it's figuring out, figuring out where to get those spare ones. That doesn't interrupt with the main design, the main garment that will be shown. So it's good to be coming from the side seam, not possibly this one, if I can balance it out with here. So we've got one that's, uh, and one that's ready to come away there and need another one there. And one more here. So it's open one, two, three. And these are at the sides of the garment, which isn't too bad because that's where your arms are. So, um, that one's fine. And I've got a couple that are missing at the front, at the back here. So I've got one, two, and three, and possibly four. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove those two there. And, and they will go on the shoulder. And then that problem is solved. Yeah, two on the shoulder, which I'll take from here because on the underarm, I may even take couple more but we'll start with we'll start with those and put those onto the shoulder first and then we'll work on the front because there's four that's missing from the front okay so first of all I'm going to remove this label so the equipment that the supplies going to need for this is really going to be just basics you're just going to need some thread because it's going to be hand sewing involved there's going to be no machine sewing on this. I'm going to take away the one from the inside of the garment. So 
So to carefully remove two to begin with, I'm going to remove those two. There's a knot there. Okay, so I'm just going to leave those for a moment. I will need to knot those to give a knot on the back of them so that they don't come away. Or I might have to take away a couple more. So I'm just going to focus on these two first and getting the shoulder sorted out. So one will go there and the other will go here. So I might leave one here as well. I think I'm better off putting it there actually. That isn't so noticeable. Yeah, there and there, those two. So I've managed to get some thread that's more or less the same as the colour that's in the garment and let's see take that one away I'm going to work on the inside and just feel my way around right I'm in the hole now okay I'm gonna put a knot at the end oops I think it needs this knot a little bit thicker let's do it one more time okay Yeah, that's better. And then bring it through on this side. And it's a case of, don't want to lose that one. Yeah, it's not looking too bad. Going through again at the back. The needle. Through, nope, wrong position. Go back. And then bring it through to this side here. Yeah, that looks pretty successful. I'm gonna do one more time on each side. just so that I don't lose them. I'm going to turn that to the wrong side. I'm going to knot that into place. One more. Okay. Then to do next is to I don't want to tie it off singly so I'm just going to run generally my needle through the you can't see it hopefully on the right side otherwise I may just have to do it just picking up a loop or so Like that. Got my finger on the inside and that's also holding it into place and it's helped me to guide the needle through. And down the opposite side.
Do the hole again and then on the opposite side like so. Now we've got this one that's loose, let me see if I can, no there's nothing there that I could pull through. There. So the I'm going to show you how to do how to pull those through. I'm just going to get a second needle. So I've gone for a needle that has a big eye. And I'm going to put that through like so. And then, because it's kind of really short this and it's a bit curly. It'll be easier to, yeah, thread that through and pull it towards the back. No, nope. I am going to knot these off now. So those two little strands that of thread that you can see there, so tiny, tiny ones. This is how I'm going to secure them. So again, I'm going to get a couple of loops. And then knot those. One more just to be on the safe side. Yes, that's nice and strong. Yep, happy. And then I'm going to do the same with this one here because it's quite a way to travel there. I'm just going to cut this bang, and then knot it a couple of times. And do the same again with this. One more time. And it's nice and tight. Yeah, that's fine. So yeah, the shoulders are and now the same. That's fine. I just now need to cut this up and then work on the missing bits that are on here. There's four that we counted, wasn't it? The repairs are now done. That's the shoulder. Happy with the result. And also at the back towards the hem. It's all done. You wouldn't tell, you won't be able to tell which side I've actually repaired. And the two little sequins that I took from there and there are now the same. So it doesn't look as though there is meant to be any there now, that's, which is really good. Yeah, I'm happy with that now. Now it's for the simple and really easy refashioning part of this project. Now, I don't like the way this looks when it's supposed to be worn like this. It's got a little hook and eye there. No, I don't like that. I prefer it that way. I prefer the back to be the right side. So what that means is that I am going to have to I'm not going to re remove the hook and I'm going to keep that there. I'm just going to do a really strong tacking stitch to keep, let me just see, to keep that in place. Let's see if I just press that again. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it, because it won't, I won't be able to feel it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So you can see, you can see the hook and eye there. So I'm just gonna keep, do a really strong tacking stitch 
to keep that in place and then I'll just put it over my head when I'm ready to wear it. And I'm happy with that. It's very good. I mean, you could put a bow there if you wanted to as well. That's an option. I mean, I do like bows, but um, no, I don't think, no, I think because of all this work here that I don't think that would be good. Hmm, a bow. Anyway, I'm definitely going to be hand sewing that into position and make sure it's really strong. If you wanted to, you can always, if you've got a similar garment, remove the hook and eye, but on this occasion, I don't wish to. It's not gonna interfere with me feeling comfortable in the garment. Now it is ready to wear. Let's show you what it looks like on the right side. Nice, neat, professional. And that's what you're looking for. Ta -da! It is now complete. This is the back, which is now the new front. And let's have a look at the shoulders. Tool around to the side. And the shoulders, so the repair looks really good. And remember they came from the underarm, which you'll never know that was the case and the hemline on the top is all now nice and neat and nothing is missing and I've got a pet skirt that I pattern drafted and also sewn and I'll give you a tour around to the back and the back used to be the front and that's what it looks like now it would probably look nice with a bow um you never know I might put some I might put a bow on in in the future, you just don't know. So like I said, I'm wearing a pencil skirt. But no, it'll get a lot of wear now. I do think this is the better way in which to wear it though. I do like what's happening here with the folds as well. When I wore it the right way, I think that's the part that I liked about it more than anything was these gentle folds that were happening at the sides. Um, but no, I just think this is a lot better. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please do share it on all your platforms. And also, if you are new to the channel or if you've been watching for some time and you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will see you next time.